Okay, so this little area, no, not this area, sorry. This area over here, I used to call my bush area um, because no matter how much I towel twisted it, um, it always just looked like a bush. So I would have to go through and like finger twist um, the groups of hair that already had come together. Um, but now when I twist it, you know, they stay in their own little individual areas and they have coiled somewhat. So it's no longer my bush area. So I'm already starting to see like a few changes in my hair. Um, but I'm just like, as I finger twist kind of throughout the day sometimes, sorry, I have dog hair in my thing. Um, <laughs> I'm noticing the different grades that I have, you know, how some of them are much larger than others. Some of them are really, really tiny, um, like this one right here on my edge, which I know you can't see because my hand is like covering it all. Um, but then there's like this one right here um, that I know I'm going to have to probably combine one day. And that's OK. Like for the first time, like I'm OK with however this turns out. I'm OK with some of them being bigger than the other, some of them. Um, maybe not locking like the other ones will like I'm okay with it not being perfect um, which is like a sign of my own spiritual growth as well so I'm pretty excited that I have kept them um, for two weeks uh, I really thought that I wasn't going to like it and comb it out but I love it um, some people talk about laying them down because they don't like it being spiky but I like it being spiky right now. I think it looks, you know, it's good on me. It's befitting of who I am and, you know, what I'm going through right now. So I like the spiky look. Um, like I said, they are getting frizzy and fuzzy now, which I am just going to accept as a part of the process. Um, that that's what it's supposed to do, I guess. If not, you know, I'll just keep twisting. And if they decide to look neater, they look neater. Um, if they don't, then they don't. Um, so I'm still just spraying the, my little conditioning mist that I made on my hair first and then taking my mixture of shea butter and other oils and putting that on my hair and then, um, twisting, towel twisting clockwise. One important thing that I learned about this method and I learned it from a penny, uh, one, um, because I was kind of picking up on myself and wondering about, but he kind of confirmed some things for me. So if you are going to use this method, whether it's the towel rub method or if you're going to use a sponge. Um, for some reason when you do it this way your hair is actually going to twist in the opposite direction um, I'm not exactly sure why I don't know if it has something to do with the fact that it's a it's rubbing against the scalp as well and that's kind of countering the action of your hand in the towel but even though I am towel twisting clockwise my hair is actually being twisted counterclockwise and I started noticing that my hair was being twisted or turned different ways um, whenever I would go through when I started finger twisting and I just automatically assume that if I'm towel twisting clockwise that I need to finger twist clockwise and then I started realizing that some of my coils just naturally went counterclockwise and I was like okay what's going on I'm freaking out am I doing something wrong and then a penny one confirmed that for some reason when you're doing the towel rub method your hair actually twists in the opposite direction and so now I just I have continued to uh, towel twist clockwise but if I finger twist I finger twist counterclockwise and I'm finding that all of my locks now are going in the same direction um, and, and everything and they're starting to look good so that was one very very important thing that I found out um, that if you towel rub in one direction towel twist in one direction your hair is actually going to twist in the opposite direction um, so remember that if you use this method if you decide to go to a loctician you know and you started them yourself and you want a loctician to retwist them to inform them you know that you actually need to twist this way um, so that way your twist pattern and everything doesn't get all messed up um, what else is going on um, I actually re tried to wash my hair a week after I put them in um, using a method that um, I found on YouTube where you basically you wet the microfiber towel that you use and you kind of just twist your hair in the same motion that you use to retwist it um, to wash your hair you put shampoo on the towel and do that you know and instead of allowing your hair to run through I mean to sit under running water you kind of use the towel to scrub but because you're using the towel and twisting at the same time it's supposed to help keep your locks twisted 
Um, and I found that none of my hair, you know, untwisted when I did this, but I really didn't get my scalp as clean as I wanted to get it clean. I didn't have that nice, um, refreshing feeling that I was looking for. Um, and that could have been something that I did on my part, or it could just be that this method isn't going to work for me. Um, but it's been a week since I've done that and my hair is still inching and so I'm running into this issue of you know dry scalp buildup and such and so today I'm going to do the method that the lactician recommended which is using a witch hazel on a cotton on like a cotton ball or a um, gauge or something like that and just kind of going through the parts and wiping and lifting all of that dirt clean. It's kind of similar to doing the whole sea breeze thing uh, with the sister locks and such um, but witch hazel I think is um, is a, a, a lot more natural. It's not as a, a chemical product like sea breeze is and it doesn't have that medicated that, that smell to it. I actually have um, a rose water witch hazel um, witch hazel whatever product that I'm going to use and it smells really really good um, and I decided to get this one um, not only for my hair but so I could double and use it as a toner for my face as well I'm, I'm really into getting products that I can use for other parts of my body and not just my hair as well because I kind of want to minimize um, on the amount of crap that I have in my life so um, I'm going to try that out and when I do, I'll make a video so you can see what I'm doing and let you know how my hair actually feels. Um, otherwise, that's pretty much it. Like I said, um, when I towel twist, I do it in sections just so I can concentrate on that one area and that I don't miss something. Something's going on. Hold on. Sorry for the interruption. Um, my pasta penne noodles were... Uh, burning. <laughs> so anyways, like I was saying, I towel twist my hair in sections um, and I kind of time myself. I do this just because I want to concentrate in one area, make sure I don't miss, you know, any particular spots or coils. Um, and I usually time myself and I know that may sound a little crazy, but I'm just, I don't know. I really don't have any idea what I'm doing. Um, but I time myself at about maybe two minutes, two and a half minutes for each section. And I usually have side, side, two up top, and then the back. And I do that for, like I said, rub each section two and a half minutes um, every day. And that's it. Um, conditioning mist oil, two and a half minutes. That's it. Um, yeah. And I usually like to do it in the morning because I wrap my hair at night with either my bonnet or my do-rag. Um, it really doesn't matter which. My hair ends up laying down either way. Um, and this is why I like to retwist in the morning so that way I kind of, I'm waking up my locks or my coils so that way they're standing at attention. Um, and... That's pretty much it. Um, that's all I'm doing right now. Just waiting, trying to be patient, watching tons and tons of vlog videos every day just to keep me motivated and inspired. Um, although I don't really think I need it right now. So I uh, just wanted to share with you guys uh, how my locks are doing in about two weeks. Um, I will add pictures at the end of this so you can see um, what they look like right now. All right. Thanks for watching. Jai Sadatma.